Guys, welcome to another edition of Film Fan Rant. I am Dexter. This and is Dexter. Dexter. All right. Well, we're doing a review of Pirates of the Caribbean. We know it's been a little while, but we have got, we got to make time for each other, so that's why. All right. Anyway, this is all live, so anything that come out of our mouth, well, you just gotta live with it. Sorry. All right. All right. So, Pirates of the Caribbean stars Johnny Depp, um, Javier Bardem, right? Yes. Uh, Jeffrey Rush. Yes. And two new kids. I don't remember the name exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Same here. No, but it's just we do also have a cameo from what's his name? Orlando Bloom, Orlando Bloom. and uh, Carrie Knightley, of course. Yeah, Carrie exactly. Knightley, of course. Um, now we're going to talk basically what we like about the movie, what we Did don't we like about Johnny it. Did we mention Johnny Depp? Oh yeah, and Johnny Depp, of course. The main character himself, right? <laughs> I think we did. Didn't we in the no, first one? No, we didn't. I, we said wait. Now, I said Johnny. This is how I'm just talking about Maybe bro, whatever. Bro, All right. Bro. Well, this is how it's going to go. We're going to discuss what we like about the movie and what we don't like about the movie. Then after that, we're going to give a rating of basically, you already know, either you skip it, you rent it, or see it. Okay, those are the three are our ratings for it, all right? So, uh, Nesta, what do you like about the movie? I like that it kind of closes uh, the gap between the first and the third movie, between the <clears throat> two characters in the beginning. Oh, yeah, I did it. You know, with the cursed uh, character, played by Orlando Bloom. And towards the end, they kind of... Will Turner. Will Turner, <laughs> yes. And his little boy, who uh, we see at the end of part three, at World's End. And then oh, yeah. at the beginning, he um, actually finds him. He's a captain of the Flying Dutchman, and he really kind of wants to break the curse. Oh, yeah. And, and he actually has to find a trident of Poseidon. And that's actually... This is the main theory, or the main uh, plot of the movie, is that they have to find this trident to also break the curse between... Like the, all the, the ghost right? of the pirates that were actually after Captain Jack and <clears throat> also the that's pretty much it right yeah well yeah. the story they try to find a, a, a trying to Poseidon to break all the curse that was basically placed upon the sea yes you know or the flying Dutchman curse one uh, of the things that I didn't like is that they actually reintroduced a different storyline of how he got the, the compass yeah, it, yeah, the continuity of it just went out the window yeah, when they had it set up. I mean, I kind of like this one a little bit better, but at the exact same time, it's just like, and wait, so that's not how he got the compass. Yeah, because they already the explained that part. in the part two, you know? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and then from Calypso, you know, the goddess, sea goddess. And what I still understand <laughs> is, how does that Poseidon's uh, trident kind of outweigh the sea goddess? You know, I mean, it I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really weird. But it, it feels like, okay, so Poseidon put a curse on her, so she becomes a sea goddess, but she put a curse back on... Um, What's uh, uh uh Davy Jones? Yes. And now David and Bougie is her lover. It's like a really complicated situation. But anyway, um, what don't you like about it? Though? That's what I didn't like. Is that that part? And then again, I mean, this whole like you know they um kind of like they uh, DH Johnny Depp, and I kind of really didn't see that as an important oh. plot point. Oh. Because I didn't like that at all. <clears throat> oh. It shows him how he became a captain, or which is kind of cool in that part. No, I just they made him the. the I don't know if they did the computerized or they got some of the other players. They did the computerized. Like they, they like Johnny Depp. Um, but overall, I mean, I kind of like that part a little bit, but at the exact same time, it kind of like, it pretty much killed the continuity yeah. of the story that you know from part two. <laughs> it killed, really pretty killed much. that. And then at the exact same time, um, I like the visual effects of the movie itself. Like the the, the, the full visual effects. Oh, that really shark, good. that ghost shark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ghost shark. You know, eat. one of the things that also I liked was that his original crew came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. All, all of them. All of them came back. Yeah. It got good comedy in there. Yeah. I kind of like this one close to part one. Like, yeah. You know how to compare? Uh, two well, and they three. They had to go back to the same and, formula, you know. That's yeah, they, that worked. That worked for them. Yeah. Which is kind of ironic because you watch part one, it's basically ghost pirates, and then part five is also. Ghost, Ghost Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> it went back to that. Uh, um, but what I like about this one, though, is how they made it where Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, you watch part one, you know that even though he's like like goofy, pirate captain and all that stuff, but you know that it's actually sometimes like if he needs to kill you, he pretty much will kill you. Yeah. And um, I like how the fact they brought that back a bit so that well, you, you see that little glimpse of him there still. Like, yeah, he's pretty... He can still be pretty vicious, you know? Yes. I like that part. Um, overall, on the continuity of Pirate of the Caribbean, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, pretty it's much out the window. Out the window, and um, I'm not sure if they're going to continue to make the movies. They I left that, I heard they they left that uh, last scene where um, they see that, that lobster claw. Yeah, that's why. Uh, but it, that, the lobster claw kind of also throw me for a little bit for uh, 
a loop a bit just because you just broke all the curse. So yeah. that means David Jones, there's no more curse on David Jones. So why would he come back as an octopus head? Oh, that would make no sense. Just go back to, you know, fuck it, we're going to recreate another story. <laughs> His curse was broken. Yeah. It was a different curse. So it, it, it wasn't broken yeah. on the city. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do to it. But uh, I actually enjoyed the movie. I mean, <clears throat> um, overall, I actually enjoyed it very much um, compared to like the other pre- previous version of it. Um, I know. Yeah, because number four was just uh, yeah, a. Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. It was like bad. Like, all action, action, but I was like, and I'm like, so what was the story about again? Yeah. yeah um, so that's what I don't like about the movie. It just because the, the continuity kind of went out the bit. Yeah, the um, um, another thing, too, like, I think doesn't really add up is. Uh, spoiler alert for you guys, and this is a spoiler review, so you guys need to know this. Barbosa do have a daughter, but yeah, uh, but it doesn't make off. sense. It doesn't make sense how yeah. she is that young, and the same age as Will Turner's son. Maybe a little older, but still, like they're all very close. But yet, it's like, wait, so how? When wait, how old is son? how old is in the movie? You know, we really don't know how old Captain Jack is. Yeah, you don't know how his, how old Jack is. His kid after the um, after World at World's End. His kid is ten years old. Later, after after they get married, yeah. And after that, in the beginning of the movie, it's been like how long? And then he grows up, and but Jack it, is still but, the same. But you still the same. Jack is still the same. Yeah, but both like six years. But both are looked well. But both old anyway. So that's not yeah. the point. But at the exact same time, like you came to find out. Like, I mean, you kind of notice it too. That wait, so Barbosa was the one actually. I thought it was actually Jack's, Jack's daughter. daughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought so for a moment, but then I realized when he when he. Ask about the book, and he paused for a moment. And then I realized, oh, it's it's Barbosa's daughter. Yeah, you know that's what that what she got me. Tattoo. and everything. And then, um, but it doesn't really make sense on how he had a daughter that young. Yeah, in a sense wise, if she they was a little older, it. I could kind of understand. But this one's like she's the same age. Will Turner's son. Yeah, you know that that, that throws everything <laughs> on. Then it made it where he's supposed to be this uh, uh, guy who traveled the world and all that stuff. Which they did, but it's like sometimes like. He that the, that makes sense to me is like he got the piece of the of the that crystal in that for the island, the place on the book. Yeah. Well, place her in the the home, but now she's looking for it. Yeah. But then it's like sometimes like, but you're the one who been there. How could you not know where it is since you already been there? Much. You know that that was it, it throws that part didn't really add up. But I guess you kind of had to go with it for the sto- for the story to actually work. But if you don't, it it, it causes like that logical mesh of. Uh, Illogical sense. Like Excuse I said, um, the beginning they they kind of build up towards his last showdown with the the captain, but oh yeah, really uh, see it like Salazar, it was, Captain yeah. Salazar, which it wasn't um, really that that you know final climax. It wasn't yeah. anticlimactic. It was just kind of like a bus. Yeah, it, but I, the, the thing is, you kind of know what's gonna happen right when the the, the, the situation has take place. Yeah. You already know. Because they had so many opportunities to kill him, and they just kind of <laughs> dragged it on. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. So I mean, it made sense. And yeah. um, all the actors that I like, well, like all the actors, like. Uh, I heard they really took, like, forever, and I they know. spent so much money on just doing the hair. Yeah, it is. They want to get, like, all the details. Yeah. I like all the actors in it. The only one that I feel like they just kind of came back just just for the kind of hell of it, and you kind of kind of tell it is Orlando Bloom and Karen Knightley. Karen Knightley just you know? pop on the. You know, that, she like a, like, she like, didn't say not. Was no it like was thing. it a, a one minute one scene? Second camera that was it. Like, was it. Okay, yeah. done. All right, done. A kiss and uh, Orlando right. had like five lines or three in the entire movie. So. Yeah, <laughs> but it worked toward the end of it. And right, the beginning kind of got me though. Yeah. The father. Just, yeah, the, the father. Some more. That's like to me like the, almost like the best part of the movie. Yeah. The the funny part to me was when. Uh, the one of the crewmen got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> that, he gets that part captain funny. fat, and he's just like, "Oh, yeah. you want me to make you captain?" <laughs> Humble them down. Um, but overall, here's our judgment. So, what do you what do you give of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Dead Man Tell uh, Tell No Tales? I might give it a thumbs up. You know, thumbs up. Yeah. Are you going to, you going to see it, rent it, or I, I want to see it. You know? See it? I'm, yeah. All right. Uh, so our basically, I agree with uh, Nesta on this one is that go see it. All right, it's not the best compared to one, but it actually is very entertaining and uh, better than the previous uh, Pirate of the Caribbean. Oh, so yeah. uh, go see Pirate of the Caribbean. You haven't seen it yet. All right. And thank you to our sponsors, Pepsi. <laughs> oh, and another thing, so you want to contact us, comes uh, contact us at uh, filmfanrant at gmail dot com. Uh, follow us at filmfanrant as well on Twitter and Instagram. Um, 
Also, uh, if you like streaming, get yourself a uh, Fire Stick or Fire TV uh, through Amazon. Okay, so get that so you get all your movies, shows, and stuff like that too. And you know what I like about uh, Amazon Prime? Actually, I have it. What is it? They when the, they actually, you know when movie we release it for rental? Yeah. You actually get it almost a week earlier. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, was, I, I got a, what's it, a, what's the movie? Beauty and the Beast that came out. I got like a week before it came out. I, I mean, I've seen it already too, but it still was like, oh, wow. I had a week before. Yeah. That was actually really nice. So, uh, you haven't, you know, got a streaming device yet, you know, get yourself a Fire TV and a Fire Stick. Fire Stick. All right? Peace out. Bye, guys.